Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I am Cassie and tonight we are watching the final episode of Chernobyl, which has been an incredible mini series. I have learned so much. We're finally gonna hear the real facts, I hope. See our stories hero, I also hope, tell the truth. It hurts me to know his future already. They showed us in the first few minutes of the first episode. Ah, <sighs> you just have to emotionally prepare every episode knowing that that's coming. Like I've said before, I'm excited to finish this so I can not worry about spoilers and go read and watch everything I can about Chernobyl. They did such a good job of the storytelling so far and just made me so interested in it. So let's get started with episode five. Remember, a like always helps. And if you wanna check out full length reactions and have access to polls deciding what I watch next, you can head to my Patreon here. Okay, let's watch the show. I'm wearing my glasses today to look smarter when they talk about nuclear physics. Just kidding. I'm wearing them for my eyes. <laughs> Just need to today. <sighs> are they showing? Is this a flashback of... Oh, I remember them. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Vasily. Oh, this makes it so much more painful. 12 hours before. <sighs> I don't know if I can go through this again. I, they might promote Rukhanov, the safety test, if it's completed successfully. Naturally, they'll put me in charge, and then I'll need someone to take my own job. I would like to be considered. Three years I've tried to finish this test. I've just had a call from the grid controller in Kiev. He says we can't lower power any further. It's the end of the month. Productivity quota. Someone's pushing down from above. So do we have to scrap it or what? No, I don't think so. Running out of power, not going to have stability issues. It's safe. I'll personally supervise the test and it will be completed. Call me when it's done. Hmm. In hindsight, this all just feels so dark and wrong. You went to the doctor yesterday. How is your health? You don't know. Oh, it's the KGB guy. It says, at last, a Soviet scientist who tells the truth. Turns out you're quite good at this. At what? Lying. Statecraft, Vygasov. Oh, he did lie? You gave us assurances. The reactors would be made safe. First, the trial. Once it's over, we will have our villains, our hero. We will have our truth. After that, we can deal with the reactors. That is mind-blowing to me. They just cost them bajillions of dollars, their whole army and more, and they won't make changes to their running reactors? Like, what if it happened again? <gasps> no, this is what we saw. Gonna be the scientist lady. I knew it. I'm not here to scold you. Why are you here? Because I'm brutally stubborn, which you were hoping for. Acknowledging the problem means admitting that they lied. They will have to be forced. You're going to tell the truth. It's a show trial. The Central Committee have invited members of the scientific community. And you think that these scientists will somehow be stirred into action by me? Yes. Why? Because you're Valery Lagasse so and you mean something. Valery Velasco. They will shoot me. Homiuk. 
I spoke to dozens of people. Every word they said, I wrote down. These are the ones who are still alive. These are the ones who are dead. They died rescuing each other. They simply did what had to be done. So have I. I went willingly to an open reactor. I've already given my life. Isn't that enough? No, I'm sorry, but it is not. What is this place? City of Chernobyl. They're going back. Oh, she is giving him a look. Viktor Brokhanov, Anatoly Dyatlov, Nikolai Famine. So I understand there was operator error by those guys, but they didn't know about that article that was redacted, right? It began with, of all things, a safety test. Reactor number four was not new. It went into operation on December 20th, 1983. Plant director Viktor Brikhanov signed this document, certifying the completion of the construction of the reactor. In order to sign this certificate, all safety tests had to have been completed, and yet one remained. A nuclear reactor generates heat in the core here. Look at him now. What if a power plant has no power? What if the power feeding the plant itself is disrupted? The pumps cannot move water through the core, in short, a nuclear disaster. The solution, three diesel fuel backup generators here. Okay, this is so helpful. The backup generators took approximately one minute to reach the speed required. The theory was this. What if the dying turbine could keep the pumps working long enough to bridge the 60 second gap until for the generators the, came on? For the diesel generators. Is he sick too? The science is strong, but a test is only as good as the men carrying it out. The first time they tried, they failed. The fourth time they tried was April 26, 1986. He did a good job. To understand what happened that night, we have to go back 10 hours earlier. Power grid officials in Kiev say that they cannot afford a further reduction in electricity until after midnight. This is the first critical moment, the first link in the chain of disaster. Competent management would have insisted on cancelling the test. These three men allowed it to proceed. Why was this delay so dangerous? At midnight, okay, this is what I there is a shift change. This is the one who... Another test. They couldn't do it on the day shift, so they've given it to us. We don't know what it is. Take it down to 700, hold it there. The outlaw is going to be supervising. I have to do something I've never done before with the outlaw looking over my shoulder. We'll do it together. Oh my gosh. Are we supposed to do those or not? They have never done it. <gasps> I have the manual for the rundown test. This is just like a huge, huge miscommunication. No one is telling the truth. No one is talking to each other. Follow the cross down other. instructions. No one is asking why they crossed down. Is it too much to ask that you all know what you're doing? Well, yes, yes. absolutely. Oh. Stelechuk? I haven't reviewed. We only just found out. We're... There, review it. <sighs> I've never liked him very much. Shut the fuck up and do your job. Oh my gosh. Reduce power to 700. I've never done this with the power so low before. It's okay, I'm with you. Reducing power to 700. I want you to think of Yuri Gagarin, that he has been told nothing of his mission into space until the moment that he is on the launch pad. All he has is a list of instructions that he has never seen before, some of which have been crossed out. This is exactly I what was happening in the control research. room of Reactor 4. Leonid Toptonov, his total experience on the job, four months. This is the human problem created by the delay. But inside the reactor core, something far more dangerous is forming, a poison. The time is 28 past midnight. Comrade Legasov. Here it is. You don't need to be a nuclear scientist to understand what happened at Chernobyl. You only need to know this. The reactivity which generates power either goes up or it goes down. All the operators do is maintain balance. Fuel oh. The xenon did not burn away. We're starting to lose balance. <laughs> at 28 minutes past midnight, the reactor is now primed to slow down. If you can't understand how a stalled nuclear reactor could lead to an explosion, I don't blame you. You don't work in the control room of a nuclear power plant. The men who did, didn't understand it either. Oh my gosh. Easy now? Good. You're procrastinating. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're doing fine. He only had worked there for four months. Ease it down to 700. Oh, he 
Whoa, 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 slow. I didn't move any rods there. What is it? It's going down. I'm not even touching it. <gasps> oh my gosh. You're choking my reactor. Get it back up. They knew it was poisoned. What did you do? I, I did what you said. I switched. Look at it! How the fuck did you get this job? I apologize for this unsatisfactory result. What are you doing? Well, we could be in a xenon pit. We have to shut down by 24 hours. No, we're doing the test tonight. Raise power to 700. Oh, my gosh. Raise the power. No. no. I won't do it. It isn't safe. Safety first. I've been saying that for 25 years. That's how long I've done this job. Is that longer than you, Akimov? <sighs> this is so painful. It's safe. And if the two of you just scream, then you don't have to work here. And you won't. You won't work anywhere ever again. I'll see to it. Wow. Raise the power. I would like you to record your command. Here. Raise the power. What is he doing? What is he doing? Together then. I wasn't even there. I wasn't in the room when they raised the power. Liar. If you weren't there, then where were you? Metal gas off. I will ask the questions here. If you weren't in the room, then where were you? The toilet. He's trying to save his butt. <coughs> Court is now in recess. Poor Boris. I hope they tell us what happened to him. It's okay. Do you know anything about this town? It was mostly Jews and Poles. The Jews were killed in pogroms, Stalin forced the Poles out, and then the Nazis killed whoever was left. But after the war, people came to live her anyway. Ground under the feet, soaked in blood, but they didn't care. No one ever thinks it's going to happen to them. Well, it's time. Maybe a year. Oh my gosh. You call it a long illness. It doesn't seem very long to me. I know you told me and I believed you. But time passed and I thought it wouldn't happen to me. <gasps> they told me they were putting me in charge. They said it wasn't serious. I believed them. You know why? Because they put you in charge. I'm an inconsequential man, Valera. That's all I've ever been. I hoped that one day I would matter, but I didn't. You do matter. You fixed it. I just stood next to people who did. Everything we asked for. Everything we needed. Men, material, lunar rovers. Who else could have done these things? Oh my goodness. Of all the ministers, the entire congregation of obedient fools, they mistakenly sent the one good man. For God's sake, Boris, you were the one who mattered most. Oh, he's so nice. He is a good man. Oh, that's beautiful. I just want to shake him like you did good. You matter. I know she's not real, but I want them to be in love. The time is 38 past midnight. Xenon is still being created, but so none of it is burning away. The reactor is drowning in poison. The reactor isn't hot enough to produce sufficient steam. The only way to safely raise power from this state is to do it over the course of 24 hours. Yatlov wants it done now. They begin pulling control rods out. Control rods are the brakes on this car. Of 211 rods, only six now remain in the reactor. The only thing keeping the reactor in check is water and xenon. Oh it's gosh. one in the morning. The test is minutes away. Oh, this is just... This is all we can get, 200 megawatts. That's all we have, that's all we have. But the test requires 700. Let's get ready, switch on pump four. Oh. Does this guy not realize what he's dealing with? If I know what I'm doing, we should warn her to the pipes are gonna be jumping. Never mind him. Oh my gosh. We should stop. Turn that fucking thing off. You have 15 minutes. They may as well have had 15 days. The problem they were facing was not solvable. The test was already ruined. The Atlov didn't care. All he wanted to do was report a completed test. Yuvchenko is in his office. Oh, I remember him. But Avozchenko, high above the 1,000 ton reactor cover. Diktayenko, Kodemchuk, none of them have been told about the test. None of them know what is about to happen. At 1.22 and 30 seconds, the computer is recommending that the reactor be shut down. Well, of course it's saying that. It doesn't know we're running a test. Another few minutes, it'll all be over. I did everything right. Oh my gosh. With every decision, they have pulled this reactor back like a slingshot. Further than anyone has ever pulled, now the test begins. This is so hard to hear. Pumps stop moving water. Uranium fuel is now unchecked. The balance immediately swings in the opposite direction. Steam increases reactivity. The remaining xenon decays away. We all 
we, we have a power surge, Sasha. This is where they hit the button, right? What did you do? In every control room of every nuclear reactor in the world, there is a button. He's gonna do it. That button is called AZ-5. All of the control rods insert at once and the reaction is stopped dead. But... They did press AZ-5. What are you waiting for, Legasso? Tell your lies. You know something. You know something. Wow. I've heard enough for today. I, I haven't finished. Your testimony is concluded. Court they know? is now adjourned. We will resume tomorrow. Then finished. Oh my gosh. Boris is a hero. Then finished. Do they all know? Do they all know he's supposed to lie? Dyatlov broke every rule we have. He did these things believing there was a failsafe, a simple button to shut it all down. But in the circumstances he created, there wasn't. He's telling the truth. Fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. These rods are made of boron, but not the tips. The tips are made of graphite, which He's accelerates the reactivity. Why? For the same reason our reactors do not have containment buildings around them, like those in the West. For the same reason we don't use properly enriched fuel in our cores. It's cheaper. Oh, he just sealed his own fate. He told the truth. The graphite tips are fixed in position, endlessly accelerating the reaction. Chernobyl Reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. Kurovoschenko looks down and sees the impossible. The control rod and fuel channel caps are jumping up and down. He runs to warn the control room. We do not know how high the power went. We only know the final reading. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. At long last, we have arrived. 123.45, explosion. The lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete. Oh my gosh. That's all graphite. Dietlov, is he just in denial this whole time after? No one in the room that night knew the shutdown button could act as a detonator because it was kept from them. You're contradicting your own testimony in Vienna. The testimony in Vienna was a lie. We were following orders from the KGB, from the Central Committee, and right now there are 16 reactors in the Soviet Union with the same fatal flaw. Did this happen? Was this like live? When the truth offends, we lie and lie until we can no longer remember it is even there, but it is. Is this his real testimony? Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. She's so proud of it. Sooner or later, that debt is paid. That is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. Lies. I love him. I don't want him to die. But he was gonna die the second he went there. I'm so proud of him. And also so scared for him. <sighs> the KGB guy. I'm glad he doesn't have wife and kids so they can't kill them. I can do anything I want with you. But what I want the most is for you to know that I know. You're not brave. Don't let him. You're just a dying man who forgot himself. Don't believe I know who I am. Don't believe I know what I've done. Scientists. And your idiot obsession with reasons. When the bullet hits your skull, what will it matter? Why? So make sure this doesn't happen again. That's why. Your testimony today will not be accepted by the state. It will not be disseminated in the press. It never happened. <gasps> Is that real? No one will talk to you. No one will listen to you. Other men will receive credit for the things you have done. Oh you will live long enough to see that. They're evil. He was trying. What role did Shabina play in this? None. What role did Homyuk play in this? She didn't know either. You will not meet or communicate with either one of them ever again. When you finally do die, it will be exceedingly hard to know that you ever lived at all. <gasps> if I refuse, why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Oh, that's perfect. They should put that on our money. 
He sees right through the Soviet Union. Crap. He's right. Lies and secrets cause Chernobyl. Corruption like that is so scary. I remember he recorded everything he knew on tapes in the beginning and he hid them. Just really need to, to be know a scientist is to be naive. We are so focused on our search for truth, we fail to consider how few actually want us to find it. The truth doesn't care about our needs or wants. It will lie in wait for all time. And this is the gift of Chernobyl. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? Wow. That's him. In the aftermath of his death, Soviet officials finally acknowledged the design flaws of the RPMK nuclear reactor. The reactors were retrofitted to prevent an accident like Chernobyl from happening again. And it took him killing himself for them to do that. I don't understand. The Glasov was aided by dozens of scientists. Myank was created to represent them all. So that's who she was based on. Boris died on 1990. Four years and four. He got longer than he thought he was going to. Dyatlov and Foman were sentenced to 10 years hard labor. Whoa, that really looks like him. Nikolai Foman. That really looks like him. He returned to work at a nuclear power plant. He's permanently entombed under reactor four. The firefighters clothing the remains of the basement radioactive to this day. Oh my gosh! Suffered multiple strokes. Doctors told her she would never be able to bear a child. <sighs> with her son in Kiev. The people who watch from the railway bridge, it has reported that none survived. It is now known as the Bridge of Death. That baby was on there. 400 miners worked around the clock. At least 100 of them died before the age of 40. It is more they reported that the three divers died as a result of their heroic actions. In fact, all three survived. The divers, who are still alive today, over 600,000 people despite widespread accounts of sickness and death, the Soviet government kept no official records of their fate. Exclusion zone, 2,600 square kilometers. 300,000 people were displaced from their homes. It's still forbidden to return. The nuclear meltdown at Chernobyl was perhaps the true cause of the collapse of the Soviet Union. Wow! In 2017, work was completed on the new safe confinement. <gasps> Dramatic spike in cancer rates across Ukraine and Belarus. The highest increase was among children. We'll never know the actual cost of Chernobyl. 4,000 to 93,000 deaths. Is that just because they didn't keep track? The official Soviet death toll is 31. In memory of all who suffered and sacrificed. Mm. Whoa. I can't believe I'm done. Holy cow. I am just blown away by that series. It was every emotion. And as much as you couldn't watch it, you had to. And we all should. Do you know what I mean? I also feel like as a show, it was just incredible. Like the story aside, I can't figure out how they made everything so big and real, even the explosion at the end, and the storytelling and the acting, it was all just incredible. I will shout that series from the rooftops, just like so many of you did to me, urging me to watch it, so thank you. Looking back at the first episode, I really did not think I could watch the rest because it was just... But I am so glad I did, even though it was so brutal. I think we all should watch that even just as a tribute to the heroes in that story. And there were so many. Obviously, the scientists and the professor and Boris, but also the miners and the firefighters, everyone who played a part in fixing that horrible, horrible mistake. All the Russian people that just came together to fix it, risking their lives. I'm just blown away. I also just very much appreciate the way they explained it in this episode, how clear they made it. Surprisingly, the way they explained it made me have more faith in nuclear power. It was more because it was ran cheaply and poorly and although 
the human error was a lot, there was also a scientific reason and we could learn from it. I really appreciated that episode in the way they laid that out. Thank you again for watching with me. I, again, am so glad that some of you found this series through the reaction and watched it with me. And you're going to tell your friends about it and I'm going to tell my friends about it. And I just hope everyone will watch the show. So thank you again so, so much. I can't wait to watch the next mini series or show with you guys. Okay. Have a wonderful night.